my name is Joan O'Sullivan and I'm the coordinator of the MA in Structured PhD at Mary Immaculate College in Limerick. Thanks for taking part, uh, Joan. Um, can I start by asking you about what the overall uh, approach has been uh, uh, in your institution to the uh, pandemic? Thanks, Peter. Thanks for the opportunity to, to talk about our programme. So the MA in Applied Linguistics has actually been online since 2015. Um, when the program was launched. So we've actually been offering um, a very flexible professional development program for language teachers and language professionals since then, and in particular, English language teachers who make up a, a large part of our cohort. So our structure enables teachers to continue working while they're studying if they want to. And that's really helpful, not only from their financial point of view, but because they can bring insights from their practice to their, their study program as well. So, so it's working really well and that element of flexibility um, is really great. So we offer blended and fully online programs. Can you uh, tell us a bit more about the structure of that and the mm -hmm. intensity uh, of it uh, and the kind of duration? Absolutely. So I'm just going to share some slides here. So the structure is, um, I suppose the main thing is that you can complete the program with, with, within one calendar year. So if you started in September 2021, you could complete it by September 2022. But there is also an option to postpone your dissertation or to, to take an extra semester to do your dissertation. So again, if you started in September 2021, you would have completed the thought program by summer 2022. And then you could take the autumn semester to do your 20,000 word dissertation. And this doesn't cost you any anything extra. So I know in a lot of cases, especially with English language teachers, uh, the summer can be a particularly busy time. So it gives you the, the option of um, taking a bit longer to complete it. So typically um, with the MA, there are three 12 week semesters. So semesters one and two each have four thought modules. And I'll talk a little bit more about those in a minute. Semester three is um, dedicated to the 20,000 word dissertation, which can be on a topic of your, your own choice, obviously. So it gives you the opportunity um, to reach, research something that you're really interested in, and it could be something classroom based or not. So the three semesters, as I said, can be taken back to back in one calendar year, September to August, using the summer period for the dissertation, or the course can be taken over one and a half years, as I said, using autumn for the um, for the dissertation. And we also have part time options and they can be um, so the, the modules can be spread over two or three years. Um, just on our structured PhD, then um, you have the option of transferring from the MA if you meet certain criteria to the structured PhD without doing the, the MA dissertation. So if people are interested in hearing more about that, you can see our um, our web websites there and you can get in contact with me through that. Okay, that's great. And of course you'll be uh, at the conference uh, as well. Uh, and if anybody wants to catch you there in the uh, in the, the lunchtime um, uh, breakout, breakout slots uh, mm -hmm. and ask you all the hard questions then. Okay. <laughs> Absolutely. And just to talk a little bit here about the, the course content. So we have, um, as I said, we, we have two, two semesters. So in the first semester, we do cover the core features of language. So we go into in depth into grammar, vocabulary and phonetics and phonology. And we also have a research methods module. We have an academic writing module, which looks at the, you know, the structure of academic writing on a lexical and grammatical basis. And you have a choice of electives then from sociolinguistics, looking at language and society, second language acquisition, and classroom and learner discourse, where you can analyze interactions in the classroom. Um, and then in the second semester, we have approaches to language and context. So looking at different ways that you can analyze language and context. We have an issues and applied linguistics series, which I'll tell you a bit more about in a minute. 
um, a follow up then on the research methods. And we have a really interesting um, choice of electives. So we have corpus linguistics and language teaching and corpus linguistics is really strong in Mary Immaculate College. So this module is really directed at language teachers. So how you can use corpus linguistics to help um, in the classroom. So in teaching um, English language. We have a more in-depth module on phonetics and phonology, and then discourse and pra pragmatics. So looking at analyzing meaning and context. So that's it in a nutshell. Brilliant. Um, and, and this can be delivered 100% online if necessary. It, it, uh, it can. Uh, uh, although you'd normally um, obviously try to meet people in person for some of it. It's great if people can come to the, the college at some stage, but we have had students, because we have students from all over the world, there have been students that, that have never actually set foot on the college. Um, we also have um, a, I suppose, we, we have a, an international lecturer profile. So we, we have contributors from um, people like Professor Michael McCarthy, Geraldine Mark, who you, I'm sure a lot of English language teachers will be familiar with from the publications that you can see here, English Grammar Today, English Vocabulary and Use, the Touchstone series, and so on. And also Anne O'Keefe and Geraldine Mark were um, the main researchers in the English Grammar Profile, which looks at how learners, at what stages learners are actually using particular um, items, like at what stage they might use the, the present perfect. Um, aligned with the the CEFR levels. Yeah. Okay, that uh, all sounds great. Uh, can, what kind of time commitment uh, uh, do you think could people are working part time and 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 and, and, and doing this? Uh, should they consider if they're thinking about uh, uh, doing that course online with you? Yeah, I mean, people have been able to do it while working full time. No, it's 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 tough. And um, some people have, have tried to reduce their hours, uh, particularly at, um, I suppose, specific times when it gets quite busy. Um, it's something that I'd be very happy to chat to people about um, if they want to discuss their individual, um, you know, schedule and that. So I can talk to people about that. Yeah. Okay, that's great. Um, so my last question then is about uh, why, why, why are you supporting the ELT Ireland conference? Uh, uh, I think three years in a row now that you have been doing it, but as we turn online, what can you tell us about that? Well, I suppose we, we've always had a strong relationship with the um, with with ELT Ireland. Um, it's 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 just a it, it's it's a wonderful organisation, and I know it, it it promotes professional development and has always endorsed our programmes. And we have um, some of our PhD students have been very involved in ELT Ireland. Um, so we, we've actually held the ELT Ed Talks in Mary Immaculate College and th that really provided with great synergy there. I think it was really enjoyable and it was great to, to have uh, so many people taking part in that. And just one other thing I want to say is we have an Issues and Applied Linguistics series. Um, which we make, it, it's actually one of our modules, which I think I mentioned earlier. So it's a series of lectures on key um, debates in applied linguistics, and we try to match it to the interests of our students. And because a lot of our students are English language teachers, a lot of the topics are very relevant to English language teachers. So we make this publicly available, um, both the actual live sessions and the recordings. We had Steve Walsh talking about classroom interactional competence in an online environment. Last week, we're going to have a talk on the CEFR next week, and we'll have um, language, or sorry, the identity of language teachers as well. So topics that are very relevant for English language teachers.